Hey guys, I'm excited to be sharing this little stamp set with you today. This is a stamp set by Brutus Monroe and I'm just loving these uh, goofy little reindeer. I think I'm going to try to make a long and skinny card today because I have a few ideas of how I want to do uh, these reindeers. I'm going to be trying some masking. So first of all, I am just going to um, just cut out one panel of cardstock. I want to cut my cardstock to 4 inches by 9 inches, so that will give me a nice long and skinny card. Alright, so here's my 4 by 9 card. Um, I want to do it this way, actually. Let me zoom out just a tad so you can get the whole thing in there. There we go. So this guy I want in front which means the other stamps that I stamp will kind of be going behind him. So I'm going to go ahead and just stamp him down on this piece of paper. Push down, get a really good crisp image. There we go. And then I'm going to stamp him again on a thinner piece of paper. So this is just a piece of printer paper. It's thinner than your regular cardstock that you use for um, cards. So it works better for stamping because um, you can get a better image because you don't have that thickness between your stamp and the background paper. So I'm just going to stamp that quick. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And then you're going to take and you're going to cut it out. Set this aside and then just cut out your little image here. And I try to cut as close to the lines as possible. Okay, I'm not going to worry about cutting out around the feet because I'm not actually going to be stamping down there. I'm stamping around the top. So I have my paper cut out. I'm taking some of my Tombow Removable Adhesive. This is great adhesive if you're trying to do your own masking because it is not super sticky. It's kind of post-it note sticky. So you can put it down and mask with it and then pull it off and it's not going to hurt your image or your paper at all. So that's a really great thing about this um, adhesive. So next I'm going to take my tall reindeer guy and I want to put him right on top. I'm kind of going to stack up these reindeer on this tall card and I just think it's going to be really cute. Okay, so I have him stamped out. Now I can carefully peel up this mask. And you can see uh, the guy on the bottom, he's still in front. This tall guy, his feet are behind. So it doesn't overlap on your images at all. So it looks like he's standing on his back. So now you can always go ahead and keep this little piece if you want to do some more masking in the future. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm creating another mask for this guy so I can go ahead and stamp the next reindeer on top of him. There we go. Push that down. All right. So the next guy, I think, I think I want to do this guy. So it looks like he's behind this little uh, reindeer in front of him. Now looking back, I probably should have positioned him up a little bit more so that antler is not in his face. Good thing is I have my masks all cut out so I could go ahead and redo it on the back if I didn't like it, which I might go ahead and do. I might go ahead and re-stamp it out because that's really bothering me. So I'm just going to flip it over, start again. So there's my stack of reindeer. I'll give you a close-up look. So cute. I'm going to go ahead and wash my fingers so I don't get smudge marks all over. And then I'm going to come back and start coloring and doing some background work. 
So I'm going to take some color and just mix it with that ink that I squished out here. I'm just going to carefully start culling my antlers. give you a closer look of all these cute little reindeer that are now colored. Okay, now I'm going to take this embossing bag, just rub it all over because this also helps the embossing powder to only stick where it's supposed to. So now I'm going to take some of these snowflakes So I have uh, my reindeer colored, I have my snowflakes embossed, and I just want to do a light little bit of blending around the sides. I want to make it sort of like a snowy, snowy look. So I'm going to take some, some blue, some light blue, try some of this tumbled glass.
also going to use a little bit of shaded lilac to give it just a little bit of a purple in there as well. And you can see since I did cut it down a little bit smaller, I'll have a border around the outsides, which always looks really nice. So I'm just going to go ahead and add my adhesive. I want to put a lot on the back because um, my paper is warped a little bit and I don't want it to be warped on the card. I want it to lay flat. So I'm going to put lots of adhesive, lots around the edges and in the middle just so I can push it down to be totally flat. Then I do want to use one of these sentiments here. I want to use the little oh dear sentiment. And then just as a last little touch, I might just take a little bow. And then I can go ahead and just adhere this down. A little bit of Tombow Mono Multi-Liquid Glue. And stick it down and my card should be done. So I mean it looks simple, it's a one layer card but it's a little bit more time consuming than cards I've done just because of all the coloring and all the masking. But it's really cute the way it turned out. I'm not the best colorer but I think the whole card concept kind of just makes it stand out. So really fun um, stamp set, uh, really fun holiday card, something a little bit different if you wanted to try it. Um, hope you got some good tips on masking. Like I said, you don't need masking paper. You can use printer paper or a thinner type of paper and just kind of uh, make it work for you. So hopefully you enjoyed this and I'll catch you in some future videos. Bye.